currently 527 in the morning. And I hate, I hate early mornings. Good Boy. morning, Tyler. Ready uh, for this? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that view, guys. Okay, so the reason why we're out here at five or like 5.36 in the morning, whatever it is now, uh, is to test out this little guy. This is the new anamorphic lens for your drone. And you know me, I can't just do some random test. We gotta, we gotta go all out, so we're just waiting for the sun to pop out over there. Hopefully, we'll get some epic stuff. Uh, Tyler, yep. I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna need you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My, to not step in that mud um, oh, and to, to go on that, that little ledge there. Do you, uh, do you, do you mind? <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't go, don't go. <laughs> See, the sketchy thing about this, this cliff here, this is car called the Scarborough Bluffs here in Toronto. Um, these are kind of like these like gravel, sandy cliff things. And uh, over time, they, 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 er they erode. Last time I was here, this this was a lot bigger. It's gotten smaller. All right, you're up, Tyler. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> And that, my friends, is why we wake up at five in the morning and catch the sunrise. It makes a massive difference. Right, right, Tyler? Drone master. That was good. Massive difference. Good modeling there, good modeling. Thank you. Uh, I'll show you the flares afterwards. You're gonna be impressed. <laughs> if we didn't come out so early when the sun is like nice and horizontal over there, we wouldn't have gotten those insane little flares that you guys were seeing. Ah, oh, man, that footage was good. I might even say it's possibly some of the best drone footage I've gotten. I mean, it's an anamorphic lens. Okay, before we talk about the drone anamorphic lens more uh, for a moment, it's time to get some breakfast. Why don't we just do a fast food review? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's best I don't. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give that one a, a review. Skip that one, right? Right, Tyler? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See ya. Okay, uh, can I, can I be honest with you guys? When, when they started talking about this thing, an anamorphic lens for your drone, I gotta say I was pretty skeptical to say the least. When they showed it to me in Iceland for the first time, I just happened to be in Iceland at the same time as when they were filming the, the Kickstarter video or footage for it, I did not think that this was a very good idea, if I'm being honest. I just, I didn't see the need for an anamorphic lens on my drone. But they asked if I wanted to try it out and see for myself because they were so hyped on it. I was like, all right, you know, I, I love drones and I have my drone license now, so I'll test it out. I'll see for myself if it's any good because that's really the only way to figure it out. And after watching some footage, I gotta say I'm like, I'm completely convinced. I was completely 180. This was one of those products where I was like, I don't think most people are gonna need this. I think this is like, this is for a select few people. But man, flying this this morning, the footage I got, I was very, very impressed. And there's, there's two big reasons why I really like this new anamorphic drone lens from Moment. The, the first one's very obvious. You guys saw the footage, the flares. The flares are everywhere. Sometimes they're, they're maybe a little bit too much and I, I don't know if this is like, this is definitely not a final version right here. This is more of like a prototype -y version right here. So I don't know if the, the lens flares are gonna change a little bit. Sometimes they're a little bit too much, but for the most part, 
Man, I really like them. They add this new depth to the shots, especially when you're doing like an orbiting shot and you see that flare just like swing around. It just looks really, really cool. Unlike any drone footage that I've ever seen in my life from these little, little drones. I mean, yeah, you can, you can strap a 60 pound camera to a massive drone and get anamorphic shots like this, or you could just get this little, little, little lens right here. Um, and uh, do the same thing. I, I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting the, the anamorphic, the flares to be that nice. See, the problem is that one of the best qualities of anamorphic lenses is the, the background blur. The, the bokeh is really cool. It's this interesting kind of like oval shape. So it creates this like really nice vertical uh, bokeh, which I really, really enjoy, and it really makes your subjects pop out. But with drones, pretty much everything is in focus, so you're not gonna get that that really nice anamorphic uh, background blur bokeh, but you are gonna get some massive flares, and the flares are really cool. I don't know, it just really makes your drone footage stand out, because nowadays anybody can buy and fly a drone, like even if you're just a random kid off the street and you don't know anything about filmmaking, you can fly a drone and get some really cool drone shots, but to have anamorphic drone shots, not many people, well, like no people right now, have that ability, but soon with the Kickstarter campaign, uh, you will be able to have a tiny little anamorphic lens for your drone. Now the second thing, and this one completely took me by surprise, I, I don't even know why I wasn't thinking about it, but probably the bigger reason why I like this little anamorphic lens from Moments so much is that it's wider. It makes the drone field of view a little bit wider, actually quite a bit wider. And for me, I started with GoPros on drones and I loved how wide the GoPro was and I just defished it and all that. Um, that's actually my, my first video that really took off was how to make GoPro look cinematic because of my drone footage. Anyways, I liked how wide it is. And then with DJI's drones, it's always been a little bit narrower field of view. And I like having a wider field of view because it really exaggerates all the movements when you fly close to something. It just really like whizzes by. It adds a lot of drama to your footage. And now with this lens, I can make my DJI drone even wider in the field of view. So that to me was a really big selling point. Not to mention if you're doing like the black bars on top and bottom, trying to do that like cinematic crop cinescope thing, you're wasting that sensor area. You're just like wasting that, you film that and you're wasting that little bit of your footage. Here, you're gonna use the whole sensor and then you're gonna squish it down and it's gonna be higher quality because of that because you're using all of that data and squishing it down instead of just using like this much of your sensor and just trashing the rest. So yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. This is one of those products that Fully, fully surprised me. Um, right now you can get it for $199 on the Kickstarter. I think the Kickstarter is running out. It's only gonna be up for a couple of days. After that, it's gonna be $299. And even at $299, I think right now I would go through the hassle of buying one and having to use it. See, the, the, the big thing that I was kind of worried about is like, do I need another piece to set up every time I wanna fly my drone or do I wanna just make it really easy for myself and just fly? But the added benefits of having this little anamorphic lens on your drone, yeah, I think I'm gonna go through that extra step and I would be willing to pay that $300 for that better quality footage, that more unique look, and that most importantly, wider field of view. For me, that's really, really important. So all in all, I think uh, Moment, you have done it again and just made a really, really great product that I had no idea that I needed. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review, first use of uh, this little anamorphic lens. I don't know how many times I've picked up this uh, this drone like this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Check out the Kickstarter campaign if you're curious. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, if you did not know, I have a Discord server. What does that mean? I have no idea, but uh, there's a link down below. It's basically kind of gonna be hopefully a better way of doing uh, a tighter knit community where you guys can talk to each other, where I can chime in with stuff. We can just share, collaborate, 
I don't know, maybe play Fortnite. I don't know. Uh, if you're curious, go and check out the Discord server. I'll see you guys on there.